Hi, I'm Patty, one of the respiratory therapists at Mayo Clinic in Florida. After your total hip or total knee surgery, your doctor may place orders for you to be visited by a respiratory therapist, even if you're not having trouble breathing. Most of our surgical patients, even those with no chronic lung issues, will receive orders for oxygen, or O2 as we call it, a continuous pulse oximetry probe, pulse ox for short, and an incentive spirometer, usually shortened to IS. These are used to reduce the risk of complications such as post-op pneumonia and are very easy to use. Patients usually arrive in their hospital room from surgery on oxygen being given through a nasal cannula. When you're first recovering from surgery, you may not breathe as deeply as you normally do, so giving you a bit of extra oxygen through the nasal cannula increases the amount of oxygen in your blood. If you don't have a history of breathing problems, we'll start weaning you off of the oxygen as soon as possible. We use the continuous pulse ox after surgery to make sure you're getting enough oxygen in your blood. The pulse ox measures your oxygen saturation, SAT for short. That is the amount of oxygen that your hemoglobin is carrying. Your SAT is measured by using the probe that's on your finger. The SAT number will be right here on this machine along with your heart rate. If your SAT stays at 92 or above, supplemental oxygen is usually not required. Usually the pulse ox will be used until you are no longer on IV pain medications. These medications can sometimes slow your breathing and the pulse ox monitors you to make sure that you don't have any difficulty while on these medications. The machine in the room displays your numbers, but they are also transmitted to the nursing desk so that you can be monitored even when we are not in the room. We will be keeping our virtual eyes on you the whole time you are on IV pain meds. Anytime that you're in pain or not moving around as much as usual, you tend to take shallow breaths. This can cause you to retain secretions and that can lead to complications such as post-op pneumonia. The IS is a breathing device that will help you to take big breaths so that you can minimize the risk of post-surgical breathing complications. Okay, here's how you use the incentive spirometer. Don't worry if you don't remember, We'll go over this with you after surgery. When you do the IS, breathe out normally just to a resting exhale. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth and make a seal. Suck in on the mouthpiece like a straw. A slow, steady breath in will raise this white piece and the yellow part on the side will balance in the good, better, best area. The slow breaths allow the air to stay in your lungs longer so that it can find any airway pockets that aren't as well inflated and open them up. That's why using the IS helps prevent lung problems after your surgery. We ask that you use the IS for about 10 breaths an hour, but not overnight. We want you to sleep. You can divide those breaths up any way that you want to, as long as you have 10 breaths. When you first start using the incentive spirometer, a respiratory therapist will help you. Your nurse may also assist you. It's a very simple but effective exercise that can help to prevent breathing complications. After your initial session, a respiratory therapist will return to check your oxygen saturation reading. We want to help you have the fastest recovery you can after your surgery, so please don't forget to use the incentive spirometer after surgery as directed by the respiratory therapist. Thank you for your kind attention. We wish you a speedy recovery.